guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is a fun one. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I purchased at the Sephora Friends and Family event. I had two opportunities to shop. I had a good friend give me a code, so I did a shopping trip online. And then I have a friend here in Vegas who also got a code, and so we went to the Sephora down at the Miracle Mile at Planet Hollywood um, and did a little damage there as well. So I was going to uh, kind of wrap this video up with like a VIB recommendations, but I think it's just, I think it's too much for one video. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I purchased at this event in this video, and then I'm gonna do another video where I do VIB sale recommendations, which is coming up, I believe, it's usually in the beginning of November, mid-November, so I will get that up before then. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased at the friends and family event, then just keep on watching. Before we jump into the haul, I just wanted to mention my very dear friend on Instagram who actually gifted me one of the codes that I could use during the friends and family um, event, and her name is Dom. She goes by Callie underscore Butte on Instagram. She has an amazing blog. She is an amazing makeup artist. So I just wanted to say hi to Dom, to say thank you to Dom, and to also pass along her um, Instagram handle if you want to give her a follow. And I'm also going to link her blog down below, which is awesome. She gives great reviews. She covers almost everything on her blog and she's actually a full-time teacher so I really don't know how she does it all. Anyway, thank you so much Dom and I also wanted to mention my friend Carla who is the one that lives here in Las Vegas and she um, took me shopping to Sephora with her code and I was able to do a little bit more damage. So anyway, it's all sort of mixed up in here so let's jump right into this haul. First, I can't believe I was going to pass on these eyeshadow palettes. I um, initially was like, oh my god, like I am completely fatigued by everything that's coming out. You know what, even though these are limited edition, maybe I just, maybe I just won't get them. You know, maybe I'll just pass, the fervor will pass, but the more pictures I saw of it, the more I wanted it. So these are the two Natasha Denona limited edition holiday palettes, and the one Joya is the one that's a little bit more raspberry, red toned, and it has the gold color in the middle. So this is Joya. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw um, some swatch pictures of this, but um, these are absolutely incredible. So I think the reason for me, in the end, why I ran out and purchased these anyway is because I watched one of Natasha Denona's videos on YouTube and she said it was like, you know, this creamier formula and that she worked really hard on this formula. It's sort of like this dream of formula for her. So I thought, Okay, I, okay, I can't pass this up. So this is Joya, and the other one is Eris, and this is the one with the kind of like crystally ice blue. And I also swatched this on Instagram. Oh my god, you are not gonna believe this. So, oh my god, that's crazy. I thought the pan fell out, but the pan is actually in here, and the actual eyeshadow fell out of the pan in like one hunk. That's not good. So a friend of mine, another friend of mine on Instagram, she mentioned that she got this palette and the shadows seemed to be shrinking. And she asked me to look at mine and I, I was like, no, that hasn't happened. And um, someone else even commented on it and I was like, that's so weird. Well, uh, I can tell you live here on YouTube that this shadow right here has kind of like shrunk. So anyway, I did swatch these shadows and they were incredibly beautiful, but I have to say I do like the Joya one more. It's a little bit more up my alley. This blue one is definitely out of my comfort zone. And then when I swatched them, the blue, which I initially thought was gonna be this sort of like winter wonderland, kind of like icicle feeling, actually felt a little bit more like sea, ocean, summertime. So. I don't know, it's just something I'm not really in the mood for. And so, Surat Beauty, as you know, I love. They came out with, um, I think, four new lip luster lip glosses, and um, I purchased three of them. I got Ooh La La, Voila, and Faux Pas. So, um, thankfully, I don't need Google Translate for these. So this one is Ooh La La, and this is actually what I have on my lips today. I have it over a lip liner, um, and... It looks like this. It's a very um, like peachy gold sort of shimmery uh, gloss and I don't know if that's gonna come across at all but it's a really beautiful lip topper. It just gives like a really subtle 
um, sheen to the lips, nothing too crazy. It's not like glitter or anything. It just has these sort of like shimmery particles. So I think it's very pretty. Again, I don't know if you can see that or if that's coming across at all, but there's the gloss and that's um, and that's Ooh La La. Voila, looks um, pretty similar, but actually I'm gonna hold them up next to one another. So Ooh La La is on top, Voila is on the bottom. And so this one is a little bit whiter. This one has a little bit more pink in it. And um, the reflect is also kind of gold. Again, I'm gonna try and swatch it, but I don't think it's gonna show up really well on camera. Here is Ooh La La, and then Voila is over here. Voila and Ooh La La. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. At least I can't see it in the viewfinder. The third one is Faux Pas, and this one I just had to get because I wanted to try it. This one has a green base to it. And I thought that could be really fun just as like a little lip topper. And again, you may not be able to see it. So faux pas is down here. But I just love the formula of his lip glosses. They're just really comfortable to wear. They're a little bit sticky, not terribly sticky. Um, and these are just, I don't know, they're just really, really fun. So I'm excited to play with these. And then, of course, I had to pick up more Pat McGrath products. So I got... Uh, two more of the Luxe Trance lipsticks. This one is McGrath Muse. This is just like a really beautiful red color. There is McGrath Muse. It has just, just a hint of orange in there. It's like perfect for the holidays. Can't wait to wear this one. And I also purchased color 35 millimeter. Here is 35 millimeter, much darker, more dramatic color. And this has like a slight purpley undertone. Really, really pretty. And then I got two more lip pencils from her. I really like the lip pencils a lot. They're very long lasting. They go on really smoothly. I just really love them. So this is Done Undone, uh, another nude color. I think I have them all now. And there is Done Undone. And then I also got Night Fever, and this one is more of a red. So there is Night Fever. So what I have on my lips today is actually the contour lip pencil. I just uh, lined my lips and filled them in, and then I put that um, Surratt Lip Luster on top. And I just love the look. I really, really like these lip pencils. I also picked up... Uh, another eye pencil. Now I'm still testing those eye pencils out. I like them, but I'm still deciding whether or not they uh, transfer or not, whether it's how I'm applying them. So I'm, apl I'm, I'm playing around with them. I'm applying them differently. I'm trying to figure out what works best. Um, and then I'm going to report back and let you know. But I purchased, I can't remember, but I purchased like the black. I purchased the Blitz Brown, which has like the glitter in it. And then I purchased, I think, is it called Sable? Maybe Smoke? Shady. Maybe it's called Shady. Oh my god, I'm losing it. Anyway, there's like two browns, and online I just picked the one that looked lighter. Well, it turns out that it's it's definitely brown, but it's like cool toned. Um, and then when I went in store, I saw Black Coffee, which is just like a straight up brown. And I thought, you know, this is probably the eyeliner I'm going to wear the most. So um, I picked this up. So this is like a super um, dark brown, almost black. So that's it for Pat McGrath. Um, I also picked up another Tom Ford li uh, Boys and Girls lip color. This is the ultra rich lip color in Monica. And I got this because it seemed to be the most similar to uh, Warm Sable, which I believe he's discontinuing. So I was like, let me get a substitute for that. And it's it's fairly close. It has a little bit different uh, tone to it, but it's it's fairly close. I'm very happy with it. Here is Monica up here. Really beautiful deep neutral color. And then just a few more things. I decided to purchase the Lancome Monsieur Big uh, mascara. You guys know my lashes are kind of beyond help, but I just heard I've heard such amazing things about this. Um, I've got like three other mascaras going, so I'm going to try and go through those, um, and then I'm going to hit this one. But I've heard really, really good things about this. 
I have high hopes. Hopefully it'll work out for me. I'll report back. When I did my top five powder blushes video, I um, sort of rediscovered my NARS Madly blush, which I absolutely love, and it's, it's definitely one of my all-time favorites. So anyway, I was kind of perusing the NARS um, blushes, and so I decided to pick up Lovejoy. This is one that I've been wanting to get, so I decided to take the plunge, but I feel like this is a deeper version of Madly. It's so pretty. So there is Lovejoy. And then last but not least, I picked up the Kat Von D uh, Glimmer Effect Eyebrush number 50. Someone had mentioned that um, they thought this brush was really good brush to pick up those difficult metallic glittery pressed glittery kind of eyeshadows instead of using your finger and so I thought I'd give it a shot um, I I don't mind using my finger it's just not my favorite thing and I haven't purchased any of those you know sponge tip applicators I just have extras from existing eyeshadows and the handle is always so stubby so anyway I'm not a fan of using those either and so I figured let me try this brush and then if this brush doesn't work then I'll try and find some of those sponge tip applicators with like a long handle um, but this is what the brush looks like let me get it out of the plastic packaging so here is what the brush looks like and I'll give it a shot. The bristles are um, stiff and fairly dense, so I could see this being pretty effective. So I will let you know how that goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next video.